absorption of water by plants absorption of water by plants by three ways one is diffusion second one is imbibition third one is osmosis by these three ways water is absorbed by the rootlets and the water finally reaches to the xylem by two mechanisms two roots of mechanisms one is apoplastic root second one is symplastic root first we know mean of apoplast and symplast apoplast means outside of cell membrane area the cell membrane area outside mean it present between the apoplast area present between cell wall and plasma membrane apoplast area present at outside of cell membrane or below the cell wall symplast mean inner portion of cell inner portion of cell mean inner portion of cell membrane this area is called symplast apoplast mean outer area of cell membrane symplast mean inner area of cell membrane so by these two ways by these two root systems absorbed water reach to the xylem cells so first we discuss about apoplastic root absorbed water enter into apoplast zone of rootlet and that absorbed water pass to the cortical cells the received water from the rootlets the water again enter into apoplast of cortical cells finally apoplast of cortical cells the water reach to the passage cells of endodermis the passage cells are allows the water into xylem vessels so finally the water reach to the xylem vessels by apoplastic root another one is symplastic root symplastic root means the water absorbed by the imbibition or diffusion or osmosis the water enter into inner portion of the root system finally the water reach to the inner portion of cells again reach to the passage cells and reach to the vessels of xylem cells so finally the absorbed water moves towards upright direction by mechanism of ascent of sap